seem to prey on the most vulnerable victims, and oftentimes that has seniors caught in the crosshairs. So how can you detect Medicare fraud, and what can you do once you do? Here from the Nevada Senior Medicare Patrol is Lori Powers. Hi, Lori. Good Hi, morning. Good morning. This Hi, is Lori. a thing. Yes. This oh, is really yes. a thing, this patrol, and I'm so glad yes. that, it, that it, there's something like this out there. What yes. exactly do you do? Absolutely. Well, Senior Medicare Patrol, we, we're mostly an education group. So we go out and we tell people who are on Medicare, their family members and caregivers, about the problem of fraud, errors, and abuse in the Medicare system. Now, Senior Medicare Patrol, we're actually a national program. So there are senior Medicare patrol projects in every state. Here in Nevada, we operate under the state aging and disability services division. Mm -hmm. And now we're not a part of Medicare and we're not an enforcement agency. So, so really we're out there to educate mm. uh, because the, the problem of Medicare fraud in our country today is huge. I was gonna how, say, how yeah. big is it? It's, it's very big. Give us some um, perspective. The federal government estimates that anywhere between 60 and $90 billion, that's billion with a B, um, is paid out of the Medicare system oh, annually because of not only providers who might be dishonest and mm. trying to take money out of the Medicare system, but also simple billing mistakes. Uh, maybe it's providers who don't necessarily know how to uh, bill properly and they're abusing the system. Mm. So we say fraud, errors, and abuse go into that 60 to $90 billion a year problem. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just, it's a situation too where there's there, there are several different kinds of fraud, right? It's not just like a phone call, somebody trying yes. to take your money or yes. what, what, what yes. are the different it, types? It mm -hmm. could be, um, yes, it could be, it could be a deliberate, um, you know, a, a provider such as a durable medical equipment provider. It could be someone who's selling Medicare insurance products, you know, not marketing them properly. Um, so yes, you're right, there, there are many different types of what, what goes into what's considered Medicare fraud. I feel like you're such a great resource right now to, to tap into. And, and let's just let folks know out there, in terms of fraud, mm -hmm. what are some of the big fraud frauds to be, uh, you know, alert yeah. for? Yeah, well, um, as I said, um, you know, anytime you're getting a service mm -hmm. from a medical provider, uh, well, well, first of all, I, I'm going to back up a second. We want people mm -hmm. to actually prevent the problem from happening up front. So protect that information up front because people may or may not know that a person's social security number is actually on their Medicare card. Their Medicare number contains their social security number. So don't give that number to just anyone. Do only um, give it to a trusted provider when you're going to the doctor and in fact we recommend that people not even carry their Medicare card with them mm -hmm. to, to keep it at home in a safe place uh, you know but do take it if obviously if Go you're going for the for appointments an appointment. or something yeah right mm -hmm. but they should be looking at their Medicare statements so people on Medicare and even with your own private insurance company you get a statement from your insurance provider say you know telling you what what they're paying on your behalf mm -hmm. and you should look at those statements and look for items for, for being billed for items for something you, that you didn't receive mm -hmm. or for um, double billings, that sort of thing, anything that doesn't look right. And finally, people on Medicare can report those problems to us at Senior Medicare Patrol at 702-486-3403, and they can give us a call, and we will help mm. advocate for them to uh, resolve the issue. And then if we can also report it to the proper agency. And, and in addition to those things you were just mentioning, what else can we do? Is it just something where you just don't trust anybody well you know? it's you know it, you know there's the old saying if it, if it doesn't sound right yeah. it, you know if it's too good to be true it doesn't it pass the sniff yeah. test right that's right that's right <laughs> no. if it doesn't pass the sniff test um it, it probably is is a, a problem. Speaking of the social security numbers, there's mm -hmm. going to be an update uh, yes. to the call. <laughs> this seems like yes. a really yes. good We at Senior Medicare Patrol are, are very happy. Um, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services are going to be issuing new Medicare cards beginning in April of 2018. Mm -hmm. It's going to take them a whole year to mail those cards out. So uh, the cards are going to contain a new, unique, randomly generated Medicare number. Oh. So, and obviously they are doing this to reduce the, a person's vulnerability to identity theft because if your social security mm -hmm. number falls into the wrong hands, it, it could be a big problem. And exactly, and like you mentioned, you don't need to call uh, to receive right. the card. The card will be sent to you. Right, which is great. E exactly. Mm -hmm. In exactly. addition to just you know coming on 
the morning blend, what are some other ways to, to get this awareness out well, about this patrol? Yes, you know, I know. You we don't have a badge, but you, right, you are. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but we, you're we are out there. We, we will always go out and speak to groups. Uh, so oh. anyone can call our office and we will always go out and speak. Uh, and we're always at health fairs. And um, I am going to be speaking at the Spotlight Spectacular on, on Saturday, October That's 21st. That's fantastic. Good. I think um, right around one o'clock, right after lunch. So, <laughs> so uh, yes, so I am going to be speaking about Medicare fraud, avoiding senior scams, and the new Medicare cards. And we'd love you to mention the special offer. You're inviting yes. people to call the office. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So people can contact our office to, to receive a free personal health care journal. And mm -hmm. what that is, is it's a great tool that people can use to keep track of their medical information. And uh, they can log when they've been to the doctor and what date so Terrific. that they can compare it with their Medicare statements. Lori, thank you so much for being here. Okay. And thank you thank for you. De defending seniors. Thank you. No, yes, this is great. great work you do. Don't let yourself become a victim of Medicare fraud, folks. To learn more about the Nevada Senior Medicare Patrol, visit their website or call the number right there on your screen. They are proud sponsors of The Morning Blend.